it. It'll be all right, though. We got damage on a house from trees. As many on the North Shore sort through destruction, the Weather Service now says yesterday's tornado was even stronger than originally thought. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Devin Bartolotta. And I'm Cherie Skipson. Around 10,000 people in Slidell are still without power tonight and more than two dozen schools will remain closed tomorrow. Amelia Strahan reports from Slidell tonight. This week, Debbie Hanlon was expecting to hear wedding bells. To the nursery, bought all kinds of flowers because we wanted to look nice for the wedding. And here we are. Instead, she heard this. We heard boom, 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 and trees were down. It was covered. The sound of a tornado tearing off part of her um, roof. It just was like a bomb went off. In just one week before her daughter's wedding day. Water was leaking in the hallway of our house. The storm damaged around 100 homes and businesses. Now, tree branches and debris litter the streets of French Branch Estates. The floor started to move. I come out of my room and you could hear everything was just, it, could feel, it felt like everything was coming down. Roofs ripped off of homes and trees laying in beds where families used to sleep. It's hard. <laughs> I could cry. It's hard. It's a lot to go through this. It really is. It throws your life into complete turmoil again. But they aren't alone in the aftermath. City leaders say the community is already stepping in to help. It's amazing the, the resilience and the spirit of our community and the folks that want to help and support us. Volunteers from all over the New Orleans metro area are pitching in, handing out meals and cleaning up storm debris. Times like this, it's uh, it, we just come together in, in the name of the Lord and, and work together and help folks that are hurting. Some of the trees in front of Debbie's home may be gone, but somehow the freshly planted flowers still stand. But the flowers did, and they bloomed. Resiliency, she thinks, could be symbolic. Out of the ugliness of the storm, the beauty of the flowers prevail. Inside Al, Amoya Strahan, WWL, Louisiana. If you're interested in volunteering or donating to the recovery effort, you can visit rebuildslidell.com. Parish officials are also urging residents to report any damage to them at stpgov.org.